I'm Karen Sanzo. I'm the director of Pilates Unlimited in Dallas, Texas. And this is Aaron and Lori. And we're going to show you how tying together some good, strong mat fundamentals can bring the tower work alive. We'll start by standing facing the tower. Take your hands and the handles. With your heels together and your toes apart, make an inner thigh connection. So you almost feel like your legs are Velcroed together. Let's just start by pushing the arms back as if you're going to do chest expansion and keep your spine stable. So push the arms back, grow tall, and release. Push the arms back, grow tall, and then release. Last time, push back, and then release. Add heel lifts. Push arms, raise up, and down. Five times. This is two, and down. Pull back three, and down. Here's four, and down. Last time, press back, hold five, and then slowly lower yourself down. Turn your palms, face them in the other direction. Be surprised when you turn your palms around that it engages the arms in a different way. Heel lifts go five times, one and down. Be sure and attract your ankles together as well as pulling your arms back. Nice and tall through the crown of the head. Last time, pull back, hold, and then release yourself all the way down. Take your feet parallel. Two chest expansions here. Inhale, pull the arms, look right, don't move your left shoulder. Look left, don't move your right shoulder. Look center, and then release. Last one. Pull the arms, engage back of the arms. Inhale, turn, look left, look right, look center, and then release. Adding a lunge series here with your spine nice and vertical. Take your right leg, press with the arms, and go back on an inhale, and then step forward on an exhale. Same right leg three times. Go back and then bring yourself up. Last time, go back, stay back. With your spine vertical right here, nod your head into flexion, press your arms down, very good. Return yourself to vertical, and then step yourself forward. Very nice. Left leg, go three times. So press, and then release. Engage arms, engage thighs, and then release. Last time, press back, stay back, hold. Trunk flexion forward as the belly pulls in, making nice long lumbar area. Unwind your spine back to vertical and step yourself forward and pause right there. Very good. Alrighty, let's uh, go down to your knees now. Adding cat here from the knees. So press your shins. As you press your shins, you make this nice connection here behind your thighs, which helps stabilize the pelvis. So pull the arms down, add trunk flexion forward, pause and then keep that tailbone curled underneath you and roll yourself back up to vertical. Very good. Three times. Arms press, head nods, round forward. Feel the belly pull back. Press the shins down, return yourself to vertical. You're doing a very nice job keeping your thighs vertical. Last time. Arms press, round down. Feel the pressure of my hand on your head. Engage your belly just a little bit more. Curl the tailbone underneath, return yourself all the way back up, adding thigh stretch. Arms press, thigh stretch back. Feel the stretch in the thigh, not the overwork in your back, and then return yourself up three times like that. Shins press, arms press, thigh stretch, and then return. One more time, you're adding the thigh stretch here, excuse me, you're adding the arch here, hold the thigh stretch. Arch in your thoracic spine, very good quiver award here for Aaron. Come out of the arch and then return yourself forward. I like to add something a little different here. We're going to start with the arch first this time. So start with the arch first, lengthen up the chest bone, hold the arch, now add the thigh stretch. Hold the arch, add the thigh stretch. Good. Come up from the thigh stretch, come out of the arch. Very good. It just brings that exercise just a little bit more alive, doesn't it? And relax your arms right there. Good. Let's take the straps and lower them down. We'll do a kneeling arm series here, followed by some rollbacks. So grab the spring in your right arm, press your shins down, grow nice and tall, shoulders open. It's humeral bone rotation. Hey, I like that. Let's take the hand behind the back, and you can make sure that your tailbone doesn't flip up or down while you're doing the rotation of your trunk. Okay, so open the arm out quickly. One, and two, and then three. And now we'll do it three slow. Slow, and then slow, and then slow. And then three more quickly, and quick, and quick, and quick, stable spine. And then slow three, and two, and then one. Very good. We'll add trunk rotation here. Take your left arm out in front of you. Hold your arms really big and open like you're driving a big old school bus. Take an inhale, twist your body to the right, pressing with your left arm, 
and then resist it on the way back. If you need more tension, you'll have to move your body to the side. Y'all look good, but you could increase the tension, of course, by moving the position of your body, and then return. And now we'll do two more, adding a right arm reaching. So twist your trunk, you're twisting in your vertical axis, open the right arm, look behind you, take that arm back to the handle, and then return yourself to center one more time. Twist, inhale, open the arm up, exhale, reach, bring that arm back, and then return yourself back to center. Very good. Turn around and face the other side. To keep yourself as vertical as, as possible, be sure and maintain the shins pressing down. Monitor that movement of your spine, maybe by placing the hand behind your back. It helps keep the chest open. And then left arm go. So rotate and in quickly. And two, and then three. And then three slow. As you move the humerus bone, we're making sure not to rotate the spine. The rotation exercise comes next. Good. And then quickly again. So even just resisting rotation in your spine is actually good exercise for spine stability. And then one more time slow and two, and last one. Good, right arm out in front of you. Hold those arms in a big old circle there. Twist your trunk to the left. Twist your trunk to the left. Good, rotating right through the vertical axis, and then resist on your way back. And then inhale again, twist. Right obliques working. Good, and then return. And now do two more, adding the left arm reaching. So twist to the left, open up left arm, hold. And then the arm comes in, and then you return. Last time, twist to the left, open the arm. Feel your right external obliques cross diagonally down to your left internal obliques right here, and then that arm comes back, and then return. Very good job. Turn and face your tower, and eyeball again where your springs are. Notice that the springs are kind of low. That means our rollback series and our rollback with oblique work is going to be a little bit harder because the springs are lower. This is a really fun one. Isn't it? They nod, yes. Okay, so with your arms out in front of you, just give me a nice roll back and roll up just one time. You're going to feel where those springs start to catch tension. Good. And then lift the head. Can you feel how that's just a little bit more of a challenge there? It requires a little bit more of your trunk co coordination to bring yourself up. Take the arms up in the air one time like a high V, and then slowly roll yourself back. Good. Very nice, very nice. Keep pulling the arms back into a high V. Lift your head, squeeze your thighs, curl your trunk all the way up. This next variation is one of my favorites. Take your elbows into your side. With your spine nice and vertical, take an inhale. And as you exhale, roll back just till your elbows touch the mat. Roll back just till your elbows touch, and then curl yourself back up. And then we'll do that one more time. Roll yourself back just till your elbows touch, and then curl yourself back up. You look really good. Here's the good one now. Twist your trunk to the right. Roll yourself back till your right elbow touches. Keep that elbow right there. Stay twisted and curl yourself back up. And do that one more time. Stay twisted, go back. Lengthen through the legs. Feel the internal oblique on the right side and then bring yourself up and then come back to center. Other side. Twist your trunk to the left. Roll yourself back till your left elbow touches and then curl yourself up. Mm -hmm. Don't let that elbow reach back first. I want you to work all in your oblique system there. There you go, and roll back. There you go. Feel the left internal oblique right here, and then bring yourself up, and then pause. <sighs> Rolling like a ball. Take your hands all the way up in the air. Bend your knees in. Sometimes following good oblique work, you get good flexion work. Lift the feet up off the ground. Keep pulling on your arms. Inhale, roll back. It may not be a very big roll. It doesn't matter. And then come up. Just feel that 100-beat connection under your ribs right there. Sometimes when we roll like a ball really tightly, we tend to overly round the shoulders. Last time back, and then last time up. Can you pause right here? Can you add right leg out and in one time? Can you add left leg out and in one time? And then sit yourself all the way back up, and then pause right there. Changing the shape of the spine. Let's take the leg springs now. Put your hands inside the leg springs. Or put your gloves on, we like to call. So you're putting your long evening gloves on. Take your hands behind your head. Go ahead and open up your legs there. You're nice and long through your spine. Keep pressing your elbows back till you feel a little tension on the spring and then hinge back. Hold that hinge and then curl tailbone and roll down. 
pressing the elbows back. Very good. Lift the head while you push your arms back simultaneously and curl your trunk up like you're peeling up one of those rolled sardine cans, just like that all the way up. And then again, hinge back, inhale. Exhale, curl tailbone round all the way down. Very, very good. Lift the head, curl yourself all the way back up. Very, very good, just like that. All right, take your arms out of the straps, turn yourself around, and do a little leg work. Now, as they're getting set up for leg work, you're going to be surprised that if you need to push your hands against the, the bars, then that will make you extend more. So you might need to pull your arms in to give your spine a little bit of connection in the front of your body. So with your heels together and your thighs vertical, inhale, press out, exhale, come in. Inhale, press out, come in. One more time, go out. One more time, come in. Now the right leg by itself. Press the right leg, take it out to the side, take it in, and then return it. Left leg out, bring it back in, and then return it one more time. Right leg out and in, and then return, and then left leg out and in, return. Continuing with the legs, come on to standing. So take your legs right out of the springs, turn yourself around. Let's raise those handles up one more time, and we'll do our squat series here. So take your handles, give me a high bicep curl. This it happens quickly, this little sequence here. Inhale, squat down, feel the legs, nice long spine, pull the tummies in, stand yourself back up. Two more times, inhale, bend, and exhale, stand. Last time, bend, last time, stand, turn your palms around, trunk flexion down, kick your right leg out behind you. Hold that right leg back, unwind your spine back to vertical, take your elbows Bend them to bicep, one-legged squat one time down, one time up, put that leg down. Palms turn around. Round your spine down, take the left leg back. Take an inhale. As you exhale, engage right bottom. Unwind your spine, bring it back up to vertical, kick that left leg out in front of you, squat down one time, inhale. Come up, exhale. Very good. Two arms down, release the straps, and turn yourself around. Arms up in the air, big inhale. All together now, exhale, round down, finishing off, rolling all the way down, crawling all your body all the way out to plank. Hold yourself here, three push-ups. Down, up one, and down, up two. Last time, take your bottom up in the air, crawl yourself all the way back. Be surprised that just a short workout of 15 minutes or less can take your spine through its full range of motion. Thank you, very good.